Hey everyone and welcome to the HWBot World Tour 2016 here in North America. I'm Truthman from Overclocking TV and for this special kickoff I'm being joined with Mr. Christian Day from HWBot. How are you doing? I'm very fine, thank you. Uh, that's your first time in Montreal? Yes, my first time in Canada. Perfect, so yeah, first time in North America actually. Uh, oh no, no, no actually yeah. you went to say yes. Yeah. Yes, went to yes. yes, I was in Vegas. Welcome guys to this uh, kickoff of the weekend. So we will be discussing everything that we need to know for this special weekend. And what are we doing here? This is the North America stop of the HWBot World Tour. And we're here in Montreal, in uh, in Canada, of course. Uh, this is, uh, we're gonna have seven events this year, uh, five different continents, one big championship. This is the fourth event we are doing this year after Brazil, South Africa, France, and and here. <laughs> Thank you, Christian, to be uh, here with us tonight. Thank you guys for being here on the live chat. And uh, let us know if you have any questions along the weekend because we will be live all weekend long here on uh, Overclocking TV. So you can find us on twitch.tv, Overclocking TV channel. And you can also find us on Facebook because we'll be doing some Facebook live from time to time uh, like we did earlier today. Uh, for presenting you what uh, is going on in here. Christian, are you excited about the weekend? Um, very excited. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so this is the Azure Robot World Tour North America. That's the second time we are going to the uh, LAN ETS. Actually, last year for the Azure Robot 2016, uh, 2015 that was here at LAN ETS in Montreal as well. Um, this year, we are... Um, it's a different location than last year. It's a much bigger one. We'll come back to that a little bit more in detail after uh, we just present what the World Tour is about. Because if you just tune in and you're coming from the Twitch front page or the different uh, website that is partnering with us for uh, promoting this uh, special show and competition, uh, basically the HBL World Tour, we are hosting um, two kind of activities. There is a workshop uh, where we teach the amateurs how to overclock on a Skylake system here. Yeah, correct. <laughs> yeah, I hope so, I'm correct. <laughs> uh, what kind of motherboard will be they be using for the for the workshop? Uh, they will be using Asus Z170A board. So that's the special board with like the RGB LED on it as well. I don't think this was an RGB think... lead. It's an Eero that has RGB. I think lighting. even this one can change, no? Okay. Uh, oh, only the Eero? Yeah, I think oh. so. Anyway, so that's the Asus motherboard Z170A. And they all use the Seasonic PSU as well, the 760 uh, watt PSU, because that's the one we'll be, uh, we have been using for the complete world tour in here. Uh, the top four of the people in the workshop, so they train for, they get trained for like 30 minutes. Yes. And then and for will, 30 minutes. I will do most of the training. Oh, so if you guys are in Montreal or the LAN ETS, you should actually go right at the entrance and uh, come see us for the booth. Uh, the training is free. You can uh, just come here. You have the chance to uh, compete and win some awesome prizes. Uh, there is like a like almost a full computer to win for the uh, for the amateurs. Talking about prizes for the amateurs, actually we will take the top four of the amateurs to compete on Sunday in a one versus one format. So that means the, the top four people that just got trained here uh, during the workshop and uh, did whatever they can on the system we provide them uh, based on the Asus motherboard, Seasonic PSU, uh, I think it's the 6700K CPU from Intel. The yes, Intel correct. Core i7. And we also have some GSK in memory. Right, uh, so it's that nice hardware, huh? Yeah, it's uh, the 3466C15, I think, yeah. Great. I am very bad at numbers, so I, I will let I will trust you on that one. And so yeah, the top four of the amateur will come back on Sunday for the final for the HWBot World Series for amateur. We're gonna go back into that in the next few seconds. And we have a second activity that is uh, the extreme part. So the extreme overclockers can can come here for two days, happy benching, uh, having like uh, 1,200 liters of LN2 right here. We did actually. Uh, do the first refill, uh, just like half an hour ago, just before the live. Actually, we were we went on refilling the the first two D word that we had. And yeah, we have, have twelve hundred liters of N2 and uh, two uh, thirty five liters of D, D wars. 
and there's going to be more dewar that the guys are bringing as well so there's going to be a lot of things going on in here all weekend long so they have two days they can bench whatever they want uh they can do the competition they can just bench whatever the hardware they want as well but the most important part is going to be tomorrow afternoon is the hwbot world series qualifier and uh they will be competing to go to the final for the HWB World Series uh, to win the golden ticket for the World Championship to happen at the end of the year in Germany. Uh, not all the details have been announced for the final, but I heard that might be very interesting to uh, to be there. So we already know like three people that is going uh, that are going there. It's a uh, PXHX Paulo from Brazil. We have Dr. Wish from South Africa, and we have Bull Shooter from Germany that won the uh, Europe um, HWB uh, World Series two or three weeks ago. Two weeks ago, yeah, when we were in France. Time flies so fast; it's it's crazy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, actually, it's interesting to note as well that we have 1,200 liters. I would like to thank Praxer, our sponsor for for the LN2. It is much appreciated. Uh, if you go on our Facebook fan page, you will uh, see that we did some uh, refill video uh, where we do have uh, the like refilling all that. Well, uh, Christians, are you? Ex uh, no, what do you expect for for this weekend? Yeah, let's hope we expect some good scores, I guess. And uh, there's already one uh, extreme overclocker here that he's going. Uh, he he set up his system, uh, and uh, at the moment he's doing the installation. It's an S board, a P5QE, and uh, I don't know exactly what CPU he has. He, he's beginning. That's that's going his first time on LN2 today. He so already that's bought a king, king ping pot. <laughs> oh, that's a nice way to start. Nice way to start for that. Guys, if you just joined OER Headline ETS, yes, because I see on the live chat there's the total Metal 66 that says I will come to do the competition tomorrow. You're more than welcome to uh, come talk to us even tonight. Uh, you will be able to qualify uh, tomorrow for that. And don't forget, it will be quite interactive along the weekend. Uh, tonight we do just a kickoff, but we will have uh, more and more uh, interaction tomorrow from 1 p.m. almost until the end of the evening. We'll be streaming almost non-stop uh, sometimes we have to take a break to go eat something of course and uh, so yeah if you have questions on the live chat if you want to uh, discuss hardware uh, what kind of new stuff you should get etc go on the live chat don't hesitate go ask us and we'll uh, try to answer the best as we can for that if you have questions about liquid nitrogen the safety and everything or if you just want to mess around with christian it's fine as well <laughs> yeah uh, i will not respond to any complaint <laughs> or any moderation <laughs> Oh, I got my score blocked. Can you unblock my score, please? No. <laughs> uh, actually, there's a dark record that says how far it is by swimming from France. Uh, well, Montreal and France, I think it's like a few, few thousand kilometers, like six or 5.5 thousand kilometers away. Uh, well, way too long to go by swimming anyway. We are here at the HWBot World Tour 2016. If you want to talk with us, go on the live chat or you can use the hashtag HWT2016 and ask your questions, share your computer pics. Uh, we will have uh, fun to you know, show that around on the, on the live chat. Uh, the LAN ETS, biggest LAN party in Canada. It's actually the biggest LAN party on the East Coast of, of, uh, of North America. This is, this is huge. Last year, they were topping at 1,000 gamers. And this year, they changed the location. And there's like 2.2K, like 2,200 gamers in here. Not exactly the same hole as where we are, but we are right in front of the entrance. So everyone actually coming in on our... The, <laughs> the, well, the, uh, day, the day before the yesterday was 2.2K. And we don't actually know how many they are going to be today. Yeah, because that's the thing. They have so much space, they can actually fit more people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that was like 2.2K tickets sold. Yes. So that's uh, that's insane. So I don't even know if it's uh, already sold out or not, but it's huge. Uh, uh, if you guys go on our Facebook fan page, we uh, we posted a video yesterday evening uh, when we came to check out the, the space. It's, it's, it's crazy big. This is crazy big. This is getting much bigger. It's like twice the size as last year. This is this is completely uh, completely crazy. Um, actually, they used to um, to be at because the ETS is a is a school here in Montreal, uh, engineering school, and they host the LAN ETS for the for the past yeah six seven years at least, and it's going it was growing bigger and bigger and uh, yeah, 
it's a good milestone over 2,000 gamers. That remind me how the the gamers assembly where we were three weeks ago used to grow from 200 players to now over 2,000 players as well in, uh, in France. How That's did you like the nice. event? Well, I don't know. It, it just started now. Oh, I mean, uh, the ah, event in France ah, for the gamers party, Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it was really crowded. Uh, it was really nice time to be there, and uh, there were really, really a lot of people. That was insane, huh? Yeah, I can't wait insane. to see what's yeah. going on. I can't wait to see what would be going on this weekend. Don't forget, guys, we are having a special giveaway for this event. Uh, you can go on overclocking-tv.com forward slash raffle and you can win a Seasonic PSU P1000 uh, watt power supply. That's the same series, the Platinum series. That's the one we are using in here for the workshop. Uh, you can win an ASUS motherboard, the Z170A motherboard. You can win a G-Skill DDR4 2x4GB memory kit or one of the special collector HWBot thermal flask. I'm not, sure I, I'm not sure I have one. Uh, but you, have, you don't have the right to participate, so it doesn't <laughs> apply to you. <laughs> Let's talk about the, the workshop. So we, are, as we say, we have different activities, the workshop and the competitions. Um, so we talk about the, the hardware, but let's go a little bit more in detail. So there's going to be 30 minutes of training. You said you will be doing that most of the time. Yes, I will doing. I will be doing the training most of the time with uh, with Timote, and uh, so we have a, a separate setup. We have five setups that uh, the people we are training are going to use after the training. Uh, to try to get the highest uh, score on XTU of the system. And so we are going to introduce them to overclocking, to HWBot website, uh, to OCE Sports, uh, how to submit and everything, and also how to overclock the system on uh, XTU. We won't go in the BIOS, unfortunately, not, not yet. Uh, and so we will show them the, the, vol uh, the impact of voltages, uh, the multipliers, the frequency uh, on the score on XTU. So that's going to be all XTU. That's going to be super easy. Everything from the uh, from the system. Um, would would you do you prefer personally to teach people uh, directly on XTU, or do you think the BIOS would be a good way for newcomers to understand? Uh, I think yeah, I I prefer of course uh, overclocking from directly from the BIOS. But uh, people have uh, there, there there are so many motherboards out there that we can't uh, we can't teach them from the BIOS because the BIOS is going to be very different from what they have at home. So we decided to to use XTU, which is going to work on most of the system, and it's going to they, they will all have the the same the same layout the same settings. So uh, we decided to use this one because ev basically everyone with a recent system can use it. That's going to be the same experience for everyone doing the workshop, no matter actually no matter the region. Yes, that's that's actually the key. So if you did the workshop in South Africa, or you did the workshop in Europe, or you did the workshop here, that's going to be exact same experience. It's a, I think it's a good idea as well for you know getting people in, interested into uh, into that. It's good. Um, the system, as we said, is based on the ASUS Z170A motherboard, a Seasonic 760 watt platinum PSU uh, core, Intel Core i7 6700K, as well as a DDR4 memory kit from Jeskill. Uh, all the extra hardware has been provided by our partner Microbytes. Uh, we'd like to thank ASUS, that is partner of this event, as well as Praxair for the uh, liquid nitrogen. And I want to say uh, a special something. <clears throat> It's all mounted on a very nice bench table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one's nice. Uh, so for you guys that uh, uh, that follow us three weeks ago at Gamers Assembly, we announced the Open Bench Table project. Uh, so it's a project where we now are gathering feedback from the community uh, on how to create the bench the best uh, bench table and uh, the the most versatile bench table uh, that for the overclockers could use. And here we have six new prototypes, especially for this event. We had uh, 12 prototypes in Europe, and we have six more prototypes here. That's the only prototypes ever existed in here now. This is not in production yet. Uh, you will see uh, we have more information. Maybe tomorrow, if you ask a lot of questions, we can do a, a little no more Q&A about all the, the system that we have. If you have questions about the hardware that is being used, the memory kit, the the, uh, the ASUS motherboard, the Seasonic PSU, go for it. We will um, answer uh, answer them to, to you guys. 
If you're not here at the LAN ETS, no problem. You can always follow everything live in here on Overclocking TV. I guess that uh, you, Christian, you won't be watching this on the live because you will be part of doing it. I will be quite busy. <laughs> so if we have a look at the complete schedule of the world tour, not just a live stream, uh, the door just opened just a few minutes, uh, just half an hour ago, and uh, the extreme overclockers will arrive uh, tonight. They will try to set up their first things, and I think everyone go relax for a complete day of benching tomorrow. Uh, there's some people that still need a safety brief, so that means the, 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 the way, a safety reminder about how to use the liquid nitrogen safely. We are here in a public environment, so it's very important for everyone to know exactly what they can do and what they cannot do with it. <coughs> Tomorrow will be non-stop freestyle benching. We'll uh, go back into the, the gathering details in the next few minutes. Um, very important, we will be live tomorrow from 1 p.m. almost until the end of the evening. Uh, why we will have a demonstration on the main stage here at the LAN ETS. Alright, that's gonna be good. And uh, then after that we'll be streaming a discussion, open mic, during the uh, Extreme OC qualifier time. So I guess that you, Christian, you will be uh, doing the workshop, maybe running around for, the, for some of the rules as well. Yeah, I will be doing the workshop uh, mostly in the evening. Then, uh, when the competition starts, I will, I will take care of the competition, and then when the competition finished, I will go back to workshop again. <laughs> to a lot of workshop for you, eh? And of course, at the end of the qualifier, we will still have more free benching. And uh, very important on Sunday from 10 a.m. local time. The finals. We will do both the finals for amateur and the finals for the extreme. So we talk about the freestyle OC. Speaking of which, uh, what do the guys can do? Do they have any limitation for the freestyle? No, no limitation. Basically, they come here, they can overclock whatever they want, and they have uh, unlimited resources of liquid nitrogen. Unlimited resources. Unlimited. Well, actually, it's almost unlimited because we have 1200 liters of LN2 uh, that have been uh, uh, coming from our partner Praxair, uh, one of the major, actually the, one of the major North American uh, producer of uh, liquid nitrogen. I have no idea. Oh, I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they will qualify for the, so the XOC qualifier, they will qualify for a place in the uh, AWB World Series. So that's the biggest championship ever organized. Uh, the biggest overclocking championship ever organized. This is actually huge for this year. Uh, it's only the second time of the World Tour, and this is already already being the biggest uh, championship. It's I'm qu I'm quite impressed that as a community we managed to um, push the sport this far to make this happen by ourselves. Yeah, I mean a few years ago we were still uh, just a website. <laughs> yeah, that, that that's a way of seeing it, but it's more than ten years now that we are. I mean, by myself, it's been like 14 years and I've been doing that. I know that uh, HW Bot is like uh, 11 years, uh, 11 or 12. Uh, I think it's I 12. Think it started in 2006, no? It was, it was 10 years gathering yeah. two years ago, so it should be 12 this year then. Okay. Okay. I thought it was uh, found in 2006, but maybe it was 2004 then. Well, what uh, started as a school project ended up in a, actually driving the community around, that's uh, that's super great. So the Extreme will fight here to get into the local final for North America to win the golden ticket for the World Championship that will happen in Germany at the end of the year. This is uh, interesting for the Extreme to fight, but for the amateurs, we'll also have them fighting. The top four of the amateurs will go to the final on Sunday and they will gain some goodies. More than goodies, actually, they can win uh, a lot of stuff, they can win almost a complete system. Uh, let me see if I have the... Uh, no, I don't have it here. So they can win almost a complete system. There's going to be a, a PSU, there's going to be motherboard, there's going to be a bench table, the special edition bench table. So actually, if you like the bench table and you're an amateur, you should just come here, do the workshop, try to qualify and win it on Sunday. <laughs> and also, uh, yeah, you forgot the memory. Memory is also in prize. Oh yeah, and uh, there's other memory in the prize. prize. Of course, this kind of event will never be possible without the partners. Yeah, correct. <laughs> this is uh, something we have to, you know, 
remind people, yes, this is uh, thanks to the partner, uh, the HW World Tour season partner, Seasonic. Uh, they are a producer of PSUs, uh, strong PSUs, and we are all using the 760 watt Platinum Series PSU here at the World Tour. Actually, in all the World Tour in the world, we'll be using the same PSU. Uh, these PSU have been proven that there's no issue with them because we've been doing them for the past four months very intensive on both the extreme and the amateurs um it's a modular psu if you guys want to know more about like the 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 the, the, the product that we have here uh, go on the live chat let us know and uh, maybe tomorrow we can like just get one of the box open it and discuss about that um, no problem so if you guys want to see it just say it on the live chat or on the social media with hashtag hwt 2016. Second partner, very important one, Asus. So of course Asus, uh, very uh, well-known brand doing motherboard, graphic cards, cell phone, laptop. Everything. Uh, routers. Uh, what kind of uh, things they could Monitors. Do Monitors. They also have some computers, laptops. Yeah, Tablets. keyboard and mice. Tablets. Uh, I think they have some well, headsets as well. Yeah, peripherals in general. That's Isis is Isis, Isis is big, you know, and um, the the main two motherboard reference we'll be using this weekend is the Z170A, um, of course Z170 chipset, and uh, this and will the be Maximus using for the water. List. Say what? No, uh, I I wanted to yeah introduce also the Maximus uh, 8 Euro motherboard. True. But you were you were going there anyway. I was going there anyway in the thank you and the hero motherboard uh, that will be mostly reserved for the uh, extremes or the finals so that would be interesting to uh, to see what the guys can uh, you know push out of the system just with uh, with this uh, with this uh, motherboard from Asus. Um, another big partner for this even here in Lan ETS Montreal is Praxer uh, as we told before uh, we have 1200 liters of LN2 that's going to be put to good use for sure um, some other partners, uh, we have uh, Microbytes that uh, helped us out to source some of the components. Uh, Microbytes is a shop here in Montreal. They have uh, actually not only in Montreal, but in Quebec and in, uh, in, uh, in this pro East province of Canada. And so they have different shops and uh, they've been uh, uh, willing to partner up with us again for this year. They were actually with a partner last year as well. That's interesting to see them coming back uh, for, uh, for this. Uh, our media partner, of course, to, for you guys to keep informed, we have Overclock.net, uh, one of the biggest forums about overclocking. We have Techmundo, one of the biggest IT portal in uh, South uh, South America, mostly Brazil. Um, there's Tetra, the organizer of Computex. And now that it's official, because now it's official, if you guys go look online, it's official, you should look for HWBot World Tour at Computex because this is going to be huge in the that, first week of June. I've seen the plan, it's going to be huge. It's going to be amazing. It's, it's going to be big. Actually, it's going to be insane. It's be, so just teasing you guys, go check it out. Just try to find the news. Some of the news are actually in uh, Chinese, but some of them are in English. And this would be very interesting to, to see why we are very excited about the first week of June during Computex, because that's where the next world tour will happen. Um, we have other Stricom. Of course, Stricom is our partner in the Open Bench Table projects. That's the uh, manufacturing company that is helping us out uh, on the design and the manufacturing for this uh, special bench table that we are using here at the World Tour and uh, on the OpenBenchTable.com project. And of course, Overclocking TV. Ta -da, that's here. Wow, that's a whew, that's a that's a lot of partners. Uh, HWBot X as well. HWBot X is your portal where you can find all these uh, all the overclocking even happening in the, uh, around the world. I is that this weekend that there was something in Spain, or was that last weekend? I'm not entirely sure. Um, so if you go to x.hwbot.org, you will be able to find. Maybe an event near you, like maybe an overclocking event uh, close to your place. No, oh, that that was next. That was last weekend. Okay. <laughs> so, what kind of overclockers are attending here? So, from what we know, and the people that are uh, already took their ticket and uh, and are actually showing up uh, in in the next hours, uh, we have Mark 0053, Canadian guy. 
uh, that was here actually last year at the Edge of Robot uh, World Tour 20, uh, 2015. We have Raspart, uh, captain of the Overclock.net OC team. He was here last year as well, and it's actually a very great uh, score in uh, in the Asia Robot World Series. Uh, we have Mr. Breeze, uh, film bot from Overclock.net community as well, and Joan45. So these are the guys that, you know, we'd get here for the weekend, enjoy the IP benching, and we will, we will for sure have a lot of fun with them. That would be fun to see. I, I can't wait to see the guys because that's going to be super relaxed, the mood here. No, we are. We, we can see people passing by. Here it's fun. When I see the very long line of gamers that is out there, I mean, they're, they're going to be here like, probably in quite some time. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually, uh, yeah. That actually, the I think Timothy Xiela is actually finishing the video that we shot just before the opening, and there was so many people waiting. Can you imagine, like, there's. Maybe not 2,000 gamers, but I guess there's like at least 15 out of them waiting right now. And Timothy just told me just before we went live, he went to talk to one of the guys, the first guys in the in the queue, and he asked him, "Since when are you here?" And the guy says, "I'm here since 12 p.m." Yeah, yeah, that's what he said. 12 p.m. So I mean, it, it's open at 6 p.m. Huh? So he spent the complete Friday afternoon waiting to get in at first. It's but almost like we launched an Apple product. <laughs> there were actually people sleeping. I don't know if we have the, the video or the photo for that. But that was actually people sleeping. So thank you guys too for tuning in. Uh, we want to say hi to Toto Metal 66 Hi, we will see you tomorrow at the amateur competition. Uh, a to Dark Gregor, one of the French guys. A to Build Zoid. Uh, Bill Zoid from UK, I think he lives in UK now. And hola, my hola, mi amigos from GTI season. Hey, GTI season, uh, nice to see you on the live chat, guys. I think that uh, this wrap up the kickoff show. Uh, this was just a lunch to uh, let you know all the details about what would be happening this weekend. If you want to know more information, just go on the live chat and ask us. Uh, we'll have more you know, Q and A and uh, exchange with you guys over the next few days. And we'll take a break tonight. It's not yet defined, depending on when all the overclockers will arrive, and um, if they want to bench all night or if they want to just relax tonight and bench full day out tomorrow. We'll see uh, what they have. Anyway, they have 1,200 liters of LN2, so they have to uh, to put that to good use. The Christians, I have no questions. No questions. So my dear Christians, I think it's time to wrap up. Thank you guys for tuning in for this kickoff show. We will all find you back in the next day. Tomorrow at 1 p.m. we will be live. We might be live again tonight. Who knows? But tomorrow at 1 p.m. we will go live for the complete afternoon for the XOC qualifier. And Sunday starting at 10 p.m. we will go live for all the finals. This is very interesting for you guys. Thank you Christian for your time here at the kickoff. Good luck with the scores. My pleasure. And see you guys on the live chat and on Facebook.